Could someone guess your identity based only on your top three favorite video games? Well, today I'm gonna try to answer that question. I asked everyone I work with here at Smosh to submit their top three games of all time. I'm gonna go through and see them and try to figure out who that person is based only on that. I've had, I've had conversations with a lot of people about video games. So there's a lot of people that I feel very confident about. There's a lot of people that I realize I've never talked to them about video games, or at least the games they like to play. So I'm gonna have to guess, based solely on their personality, what they probably would be into. And in the comments down below, please put your top three video games. I wanna, I'm curious how many uh, of people's top three matches up with people in the comments. I know people are gonna think that I'm gonna guess Damien very quickly, and I feel confident about that too. I'm gonna guess what they are before I even see them. I think there's gonna be a Soulsborne game, probably uh, Dark Souls 2 or Bloodborne. I think there's gonna be a JRPG type of game, either a Kingdom Hearts, or I'm gonna go with Final Fantasy VIII, or Final Fantasy Tactics, possibly. And then I think there's gonna be kind of a wild card one. All right, let's go. First trio. Oh, interesting. Okay, uh, Simpsons Hit and Run, Mario Kart 8, and Crazy Taxi. Uh, definitely a trend here. Uh, <laughs> someone who likes driving, but not well. Um, okay. This is someone who I think probably enjoys co-op gaming, obviously. Uh, I would say probably good at games, but but casually plays them. They're not, you know, they play them when they get the chance. Um, Alex comes to mind, Alex Aguilar. I, I could see this being his type of vibe. I could see it being, oh, you know who it could be is Jesse? Like just a dude, just a dude playing games. <laughs> oh, Peter? No, actually, yeah. I could see Peter, just the dude playing games. I'm gonna go with Jesse, just a dude playing games. Angela. <laughs> that actually makes, that makes so much sense. That makes so much sense about, I was right about someone who I think is good at games but plays them mostly casually uh, and likes the co-op stuff. That totally seems like Angela's vibe. I haven't talked to Angela much about video games besides us playing Mario Party and trying to suck at it. All right, Angela, learn some new stuff about you. Okay, Fallout 3, Ocarina of Time, and Darkest Dungeon. We have a, we have a gamer here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <laughs> I've never played Darkest Dungeon. I don't know much about it, but this is someone who, that's, uh, it's a little more recent. Uh, these are all from different eras. Um, okay. I'm trying to think of who here I could see that this could be this could be a lot of the people in the edit edit bay. I could see this being no, I don't think this would be Alex Tron. I could see this being Spencer. I could see this being you. But I don't think you you have never talked about Darkest Dungeon. I don't hear you talk about Fallout a ton. No, 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 this isn't your vibe. This isn't your vibe. I think there'd be a Metal Gear Solid on there. I could see this being Andre. I could see this being Rock. You know, this is someone who appreciates a classic good game, uh, and darker themes, obviously, in it. Um, this could also be Alex Aguilar. There's a whole swath of, of people who I, I could see liking the same types of games. Probably They probably do have an appreciation for the same types of games. For the sake of just going for it, I'm gonna go with Andre. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Whew, that's hard. I'm shocked Baldur's Gate wasn't on his, because he's a huge D&D &D fan, and I know, I heard recently that Baldur's Gate is in the D&D &D universe, so that's, you learn something. Okay, okay. Holy crap, okay. Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life from on GameCube. We need to be specific about which Harvest Moon we're talking about here. Dynasty Warriors 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 2. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm gonna go with Spencer. Erica, oh! dang it! I thought it was, I thought it was gonna be, I thought it was gonna be smooth about that. I thought, I, I, th I, I was like, the Harvest Moon thing throws me off, 
but I could see that being the case. I was never gonna guess this. I was never gonna guess Erica. It's funny because you did when she was in here the other day. She was like, I submitted, and you're like, oh, let me guess, Harvest Moon. That's right. A Harvest Moon Call of Duty Black Ops combo is insanely hard to guess. That is, those are, these are, this is the entire spectrum of gaming. That's, that's the entire spectrum with Dynasty Warriors 2 right in the middle. Wow, Erica, the most well-rounded gamer in the office. All right, way to go, Erica, you, you fooled me. Okay, okay. Banjo-Kazooie, Persona 5, and Katamari. All right, um, uh, I have an appreciation for all these games as well. Whew. Persona 5 really narrows it down. I'm trying to think of who I know who's played it. Um, I've played half of it, which means I put 150 hours <laughs> into that game. Uh, I know Damien also played half of it. Um, if someone's picking it as their favorite, that means they beat it, and that's impressive. This could be Alex Tron, uh, because I, I, I heard them talking about Katamari, and I, I'm trying to think of who would play Persona 5, and it's, it's not many. It's not many people who I could picture playing that game. I'm gonna be fascinated if I find out someone else played Persona 5 that I work with. Cause I'm gonna be like, wow, I didn't think. I'm gonna guess Alex. I gotta just go for it. Alex Aguilar? Oh! What? You played Persona 5? I beat it in 122 hours. That's a speed run. <laughs> Banjo Kazooie, I would believe. I, I, I get that. Uh, Katamari. Katamari is one of those that I could feel like anyone could say because it's such a fun, sick game. Persona 5, it's that, hey man, that's cool. Katamari feels like an art department game. <laughs> Katamari is an art department game. That makes a lot of sense. So Alex, our prop master. Uh, wow. Well, I'm giving you massive props for beating Persona 5. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, so we have Civ Six here, which initially I I know that Ian's is going to have Civ Six on there. Batman Arkham City. The issue is I have not heard Ian talk about many video games except for Civ Six. He talks about that shit endlessly. Dragon Ball Z: The Legacy of Goku Two on Game Boy Advance. Batman Arkham City. I guess this could be Spencer. Like it could be. Um, Spe the problem is, Spencer, you're gonna have such a widespread of like games that I could believe are your favorites. But these could be technically on there. I could see you picking a Game Boy Advance game. Uh, that's such a niche choice. I've never heard of that game. <sighs> they're in the room. Okay, I've, I've gotten a hint that they're in the room. I. It could be Peter. It could be Peter. It could be Luke. Ooh, it could be Luke. Um, it could be Luke, let's see. Oh, Josh. Josh is also here. That's a, that's a, that's a potential. Greg is also here. Greg would totally play Batman Arkham City. And he'd play Civ Six. Um, I'm gonna go with Greg, but this is a hard one. This is really hard, but I'm gonna say Greg. Luke! Oh, I said it, I thought it, I knew it. No, you didn't. I, I mean, it, I believe it. I, I believe it about Luke. I could believe this about several people. Luke, how is uh, Dragon Ball Z The Legacy of Goku? It's awesome. It's way better than the first, and the third one sucks. It okay, moving on. Oh, whoa. Solid. Very solid picks. Okay, Paper Mario, one of my favorites of all time. Not in my top three, but classic. Uh, Pokemon Red. Great choice, and Super Smash Bros. Melee. Um, this person appreciates the classics. Um, okay, I think my initial thought is rock for this. I could see, I could see that, because I could just see someone who's like, no, nothing beats the originals. I mean, technically not originals, it's Melee, but still, like, appreciation for nostalgia and old school stuff. That could be Alex Tron, but I I don't I think I think there's gonna be something more niche with Alex. This is like picking The Godfather. This is like if someone's favorite movies were Citizen Kane, Annie Hall, and The Godfather. It's like, alright, cool. 
For me, this is down between Brennan and Josh. I think I'm gonna go with Josh on this, but it could be Brennan. I'm gonna say Josh, but if it's Brennan, I'm gonna lose my shit. Nice. Look, I, I still hold that Super Smash Bros. Melee is the best Super Smash Brothers. Uh, the physics in it are just incredible. Here we go. Okay, Animal Crossing, Splatoon 3, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Okay, couple people come to mind. Tommy, Brittany, Lizzie. Back when Animal Crossing was in its heyday, a bunch of us at Smosh were playing it together all the time. Um, and Brittany and Tommy were in that group. I'm pretty sure Lizzie played Animal Crossing. Um, I just didn't hear her talk about Pokemon Legends. Um, and I've never heard Tommy talk about Splatoon. I've heard Alex Tron talk about Splatoon. <laughs> I, I, I'm getting thrown off by the Splatoon because if it was just Animal Crossing and Pokemon Legends, I'd go, oh, Tommy. But I, I, I'm like, have I heard Tommy talk about Splatoon? I'm gonna go with Tommy because I know Pokemon Legends is like, he's talked about that game being like top tier for him. But I wonder if more Pokemon games would be in it for Tommy, because Tommy just loves Pokemon. <sighs> so maybe I go Brittany. Maybe I just take a guess and I say Brittany. Nice. Oh, man. That was scary. That was crazy. That was crazy. This is so intense, and there's... I don't win anything. Uh, you win. Okay, bud. Next one. Oh, ooh. Okay, Mortal Kombat 11, Skyrim, and Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Okay. Courtney tried to psych me out with this one, um, but uh, I think this, this could definitely be Courtney's top three. Maybe they thought keeping out, because because these are other games that I know that they love. I, I, I know it's Fallout, it's Sims, Skyrim, Mortal Kombat, and Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So if someone else picked this, someone else has very, very similar taste to Courtney, but I wouldn't know who that is um, based on this, so I'm gonna say Courtney. <laughs> nice. No Sims? <laughs> Nah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, here we go. Now we've got Sims in there. Uh, Nancy Drew Two Pack, The Sims, and The Last of Us Part One. You know, all of them have to do with relationships. <laughs> Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew. Yeah, it's about your relationship with the truth. <laughs> So I have The Last of Us to work off of. Um, I could see Lizzie saying this, because Lizzie I know is, is a gamer, but I could see if asked about like favorite games of all time, they would go back to like childhood games, and be like, oh, the Nancy Drew mystery games were my favorite growing up. Um, Sims franchise, yeah. Um, I could see this being someone from art department. Uh, I could see this being Aaron or Cassie. The issue there is there's a lot of people that I just haven't talked to about gaming, and Aaron and, and art department is, is, is kind of one of them, so I wouldn't know who's played Last of Us. I'm thinking either Cassie or Lizzie. I think I'm gonna go with Cassie. I could see Cassie, the Nancy Drew thing just feels like that, that would make sense. So I'm gonna say Cassie. Lizzie, it was Lizzie! <laughs> That's, it's so devastating when I'm this close. All right, I, you know what, that's fine. If I, if I, at least if I say their name before I guess and it's on there, I feel, I feel okay. And there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Dang and Rampa, that, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, okay, so Kingdom Hearts, Dark Souls 2, and a random one, Dang and Rampa. Yep, I nailed it. This is Damien, or someone who has the exact same taste as Damien. Way to go, B. Uh, okay, here we go. Ooh, oh, this person rocks. Uh, I love Monkey Island so much. Uh, I played so much World of Warcraft, I had to legitimately make myself quit because it was taking over my life. And we have Civ Six there. You know, I make a lot of jokes about Monkey Island and nobody really responds to them because most 
a lot of people just don't know that game. Um, but someone in this office loves The Secret of Monkey Island. Um, my favorite is The Curse of Monkey Island. It's the third one. It's, it's so good. Um, okay, I'm gonna go with either Rock, Matt Duran. This wouldn't be Ian. Ian never played World of Warcraft, no. But but Civ Six will be on Ian's. You know who I think could this could totally be in the sphere of. I've not talked to them about gaming, but this could be Joel, um, because yeah, yep. I'm gonna. I feel confident about Joel. I'm gonna say Joel. Mm. All right, here we go. Sims Three. Oh, that's the worst one. <laughs> Courtney just said it's the worst one. Uh, Crash Bandicoot, uh, Insane Trilogy, and Age of Empires 1, that's the worst one! Uh, Age of Empires 2 is far better. Um, okay. Age of Empires 3 is the worst one. Age of Empires 3 is the worst one? I never played that one, I just played two. Okay, so Crash Bandicoot, Sims 3, and Age of Empires. This is ridiculous. Um, okay, Poof. what do I do here? Uh, this is crazy. This is just weird. Um, uh, I have no idea. I, uh, Selena Marcus. Um, the Age of Empires one is so strange. Um, this could be Matt Duran. It could be. It could be Matt Duran. It could be. It could be. Brennan's not talked about Sims three. I'd be, uh, the other two I, I fit for Brennan. Sims 3 does not make sense. Okay, this is someone who played games as a kid and had a lot of fun and, and still reminisces on that. So those are still some of their biggest gaming experiences. And then Sims 3, so the, the, it's, as Courtney said, it's the worst one. So maybe they don't spend a ton of time gaming. Like they, they picked up a game, they're like, they loved it and you know, they don't care. They're not, they're not, they're not too, too critical, you know? They probably have other hobbies. They probably do, you know, other sh Which has me thinking Jackie Jones. Aaron Dougal. Yeah! Aaron Dougal, I, wow, okay. That's, that's, hey, way to go. Aaron, I, I would have never guessed that you played Age of Empires. Those are the only three games I've ever played. <laughs> Those are the only three games you've ever played. Okay, so I was kind of, I guessed something correct. Uh, all right, moving on. Wow, okay. <laughs> A Link to the Past, Twilight Princess, and Breath of the Wild. Uh, this is the first time where someone has one of my top three games on their top three, so respect. So this person is a full-on Zelda person. It's, it's tough when it's one franchise, but I don't feel like I've talked to anyone here that has just talked about Zelda endlessly. So th this is someone who loves Zelda, but they don't necessarily like, at least I haven't heard them. You're gonna be mad if you get this one wrong. Really? If you're you're actually completely stupid if you get this. No, just <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. This person is a diehard Zelda fan. They are out there wearing Zelda shirts. Think of it, Shane. Think of it. <laughs> is is someone wearing Zelda shirts? Am I missing something? They might some? have a Zelda sticker on their car. Who knows, man? Am I? Am I maybe like just? I just need to start. I I think I I like. Having some sort of like, I just need to name names. So, <laughs> Zoe. Um, uh, yeah, maybe they're not here all the time. Maybe they split their time between the two different places. Split <laughs> <laughs> their time between two places. Be so um, uh, Based on, I've been picking up clues from everyone in this room because they are very mad at me for not thinking about this <laughs> sooner. <laughs> If it's Tim, I will be honest. I actually have talked to Tim a lot about gaming. I've talked to him about Zelda, but I've talked to him about so many games that I actually am, I will be surprised if it's only Zelda for Tim because I actually feel like I would think other games would also be on there too. Um, but it seems obvious that it's Tim. I didn't know that Tim was as much of a Zelda fan as people are saying. Um, because Tim has talked about so many video games, so I would have thought others, but it's Tim. Uh, don't clap. I no. I so let me. So Tim had us pre-order the OLED Switch. Like he he pre-ordered the Zelda OLED Switch, 
the deluxe edition of the game and the digital version. He has the Hylian, his, his email is the Hylian thing. He's had the Zelda sticker in his car. He had the shield that defy. Like I've never pictured as Tim as being a solely like one fandom person. He yeah. loves a lot of There he is. <laughs> and there he is. There's Tim. Tim, do you like Zelda? Show, 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 show. Look, oh my god! I just, I just picked it up and What? That's it, yeah. You've got the new Zelda OLED? Wow, so you really do like Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Tetris, Crash Bandicoot, and SpongeBob. I, I thought we'd run into Tetris a little more often. Um, but we haven't. We have our second Crash Bandicoot. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, Krusty Cook-Off. Extra Krusty Edition. Did they specifically say the Extra Krusty Edition? They did not say the Extra They did not specify the Extra Krusty Edition. That's important, that's huge. <laughs> okay, the last time Crash Bandicoot was on there, it was Aaron. Um, so I'm gonna kind of go based on that. This is someone also who doesn't game a lot. This is someone like, they played Tetris at, at some point in their life and they were like, oh yeah, Tetris is definitely number one. Um, Crash Bandicoot they played when they were younger and they are like, yeah, Crash Bandicoot. And then they were also like, yeah, I played, <laughs> played SpongeBob SquarePants. Could be Jackie, it could be, I don't think it'd be Arasha. Um, oh, I could see this being Keith, maybe. I think I feel pretty strongly that this could be Jackie. I look, the SpongeBob SquarePants, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I'll have to ask about that. I'll have to ask if it's a good game, could be great. Uh, I'm gonna go with Jackie. Woo! Nice. Yeah! All right, okay, moving on. Fallout New Vegas, Mega Man X, and Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, okay, now. Fallout, ooh, it just made me realize that Ian's is gonna be Civ 6, Fallout New Vegas, and something else. I could see it being Rock, I could see this. I mean, look, I, I with Fallout New Vegas, I, I have to throw Ian out there. I, I've never heard Ian talk about, but you know, they did the Assassin's Creed video, so they had to, <laughs> they had to play it. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead with Ian, only because of the Fallout New Vegas. I'm gonna be pissed if it's someone else. Someone else also loves Fallout New Vegas, but I know that Fallout New Vegas will be in Ian's top three, so I'm guessing that. Noah! <laughs> Noah! What? Noah oh, loves yeah. Mega Man. He's Mega Man I, I didn't, I didn't yeah. know that. Oh, shit. I would have guessed a Halo would have been on his top three. That threw me off. <laughs> Damn it, Noah! This one's finally an easy one. Okay. Pokemon Gold, Elder Scrolls 3, Morrowind. And Super Mario 64. This is what the chosen would pick. Uh, 100%. Uh, po probably Pokemon Gold, the Japanese version. It's Spencer. This is Spencer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Interesting. Okay, Warcraft 3, Frozen Throne, Pokemon Go, and Counter Strike. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. This has been harder than I thought it was gonna be because some of these games, I, pff, wow, all right. Counter-Strike and Pokemon Go. I'm gonna say Matt Duran on this one. Jesse! Oh. Jesse! Came back around. Just a dude gaming. <laughs> <laughs> that, which, this makes sense for Jesse, it does. Counter-Strike makes so much sense. And Warcraft 3, all right, way to go. Goat Simulator. <laughs> Last of Us Part 1 and Last of Us Part 2. Similar games. <laughs> this could be Cassie. Did Cassie play Last of Us Part 2? I don't know, I don't talk to Cassie much about gaming. I'm gonna go with Cassie. I think it's wrong, but I, I'm gonna make that guess. Yeah. Whoa! Wow! You know, I, I this is crazy, because uh, I am someone who loves Last of Us Part Two, but I feel like that's rare to find people who, who love that game, and uh, I didn't know there were other people in this in, uh, that I work with who played it and love it. So that's cool. Um, I'll have to talk to her about that. All right, 
Moving on. Fibbage. Mario Party Superstars and The Sims 3. It's the cursed one, it's the worst one. Courtney really hates Sims 3. No. This is a hint. Fibbage isn't even one of their favorite games. They're just good at it. This is a Rasha. Sims 3, it's so weird. <laughs> Show me Tommy, give me Pokemon. Nope, uh, okay. Got another Ocarina of Time. Burnout 3, Takedown, and Street Fighter 3. Uh, okay. Ocarina of Time, there's, the, there's that Godfather pick where I'm like, all right, cool. So you like video games? <laughs> Burnout 3 and Street Fighter 3 are two games that I've never played. Uh, and this is, man, this covers everything. So they like racing, they like adventure, and they like fighting. Okay, cool. Every category. I'm gonna guess Rock because this is someone who likes a wide range of games. This is a gamer, someone who respects all kinds of it, uh, and, and appreciates the classics, which I do feel strongly that Rock, whenever he comes up, is gonna have a classic game on there. So I'm gonna say Rock. Yes! yes. All right, let's keep keep this keep these W's coming. All right, Age of Empires 2, there it is. <laughs> SSX Tricky, Age of Empires 2, and Star Wars Galaxies, and Empire Divided. Okay, interesting. Uh, so these are all pretty old school. I mean, this is all around like the early 2000s types of games. So um, I could be I could end up being shocked, and this could be Greg. Uh, I could see this. I'm actually gonna trust my gut on this, and I'm gonna go Greg. I don't feel super confident. This is really hard, um, but I'm gonna say Greg. Brennan! I would have never guessed Brennan. I, I simply would have never guessed Brennan based off of that. Moving on. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, this one, this one I, I think could be Tommy. Hades, also in my top three. This is, a per this is a person who has a Nintendo Switch, and I think that's mostly what they game on. I I'm gonna say Tommy. I'm not absolutely certain, but I know Pokemon Legends will be on his top three, so I have to trust that, and I know, I believe they have played Hades and Luigi's Mansion as well. So I'm gonna say Tommy. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I'm shocked there's not other Pokemon. See, I feel like the person in the office who I know as being just closely connected to a, a certain video game is Tommy and it's with Pokemon. Now I know that there's Tim with Zelda as well. <laughs> so, okay. All right, Halo 3, War of the Monsters, and Skyrim. Uh, I'll go with Greg on this one. These are all like some of the best games of all time. War of the Monsters on PlayStation 2. No, I've, I've never, <laughs> never played that game. Never heard of that game before. So that's cool. Um, I, 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 I just, for me, I have to go, like I could see Greg picking Halo 3 and also picking War of the, like picking just like a random game that they have a lot of great memories of. Maybe they played it with friends or they're just, just the time of their life when they were playing it. They like, they think of that game. So that's my reason for picking Greg. Uh, uh, Greg, our, our sound guy, I, I don't, I'm not feeling super confident about that. You know, these are, like I said, Halo 3 and Skyrim, generally awesome games. They could be on a lot of people's lists, so this is difficult. But I'm gonna say Greg. Peter? Oh. Peter? So many hours on the left and right ones, but I grew up on the second one. Well, Peter, you fooled me. Rayman. <laughs> Duolingo <laughs> and Flappy Bird. If they still have Flappy Bird on their phone, that's pretty cool that you downloaded it at the right time. This could be Heidi. Uh, this could be Zoe. This could be Selena. Um, Heidi jumps out at me. I, I, I feel like Heidi would pick Duolingo, but so would Selena. There's one other person that I, I, I guessed earlier which is Jackie Jones, and I could, they would also pick Duolingo. This is someone who, you know, is very productive, um, 
very smart. So it's between Selena and Jackie Jones for me. And I'm gonna and because Selena just said she's a casual gamer, that makes me think there could be others that she would put on her list. I'm gonna say Jackie Jones. Um hopefully I'm right. Yeah! What language? Many. Oh, she's on New Game Plus. <laughs> okay, next one. Uh Oh, Minesweeper, uh, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, and Spider-Man, uh, Spider-Man 2 on PlayStation 2. Whew! Weirdly, I feel like this could be Daniel, our CEO. Did he submit? I feel like, though, Daniel's gonna have something weirder than these, but Daniel would pick Minesweeper. Um, it's big CEO energy. Yeah. <laughs> but Spider-Man 2 would, would make me laugh really hard. If, But I could see that. I could see, I could see them. I'm gonna go ahead with with Daniel. I know he's gonna come up eventually, and the Minesweeper, really, I, I just that makes me think it could be it could be him. Uh, if I find out that he loves Spider-Man Two on PlayStation Two, that's gonna be really funny to talk about. Um, but we'll see. It could be someone else. Selena! All right! Well, Selena has CEO energy. Keep saying that, keep saying that. <laughs> uh, bravo. Good, good picks. Moving on. Okay, Monster Hunter Rise, Pokemon Emerald version, and Katamari. I, all right, Alex Tron has not come up, but I know, I, I firmly believe that Katamari is gonna be on their top three, and Monster Hunter Rise, Someone who likes anime is gonna pick that. More so than Pokemon, it's Monster Hunter Rise. I'm gonna say Alex Tron for this. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say Alex Tron for this one. I feel strongly about it, let's go. Yeah! <laughs> All right, we have Forza Horizon, Halo 2, and Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Okay, you know, I. I love how I said that uh, Fallout New Vegas and um, and Civ Six would be on Ian's top three, but this also makes so much sense as Ian's top three. Uh, I know he loves Forza and I know he loves Mass Effect, and I'm pretty sure he's a he's a Halo fan, especially Halo Two. This would be something that he played back in the day uh, with his buddies. So I feel strongly that it's Ian. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Ian, but Ian, come on, man, Civ Six and Fallout New Vegas. I, I'm shocked. Shocked they're not on your top three. Boom! All right. Uh, Sims 2, Bubsy, and Backstreet Boys Moving Puzzle. All right, so someone who, uh, they asked what their top three video games are and they gave them essentially a middle finger. Uh, holy sh who would pick Bubsy? I've never played Bubsy, so I can't insult it too much. I'm just kind of like, huh? This, I feel like if you asked Donkey what his top three are, he would say this. It would have to be Gex, Bubsy, and Glover. Um, okay. Sh man. This one's hard. Uh, holy sh I'm afraid of guessing anyone, because why do I feel like it'd be an insult? <laughs> oh yeah, they definitely, um, who would pick Backstreet Boys Moving Puzzle? Okay, Janie's, Janie's a, a lead suspect for me on this. Um, let's go with Janie. Yeah! Okay. Okay, moving on. Okay, so someone who plays games on their phone. Uh, uh, pretty much just, I mean, they're all on Switch. I guess they have a Switch, but they only play these things. Okay, wait. This could be either Kiana or Kimmy. Look, I, my, my gut instinct is Kiana, but I know they've been talking a lot about the Bratz game and how much they love it, so I think that would be there on their top three. But I'll say Kiana, because I, I think they would mostly spend their time playing games like this. Um, uh, so I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go with Kiana. Nice. Nice. I, I, I remember when she got a Switch very recently and I told her to play Stardew Valley and uh, I'm guessing she hasn't started that yet, because that'll that'll definitely be on top top three when she starts playing that. Shadow of Mordor, Mario Kart 64, and Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis. I would say Daniel, except the Shadow of Mordor kind of throws me off. 
This could be Greg. Um, this is down between Greg and Daniel for me. I, and I, you know what? I believe Daniel would continue to play video games um, even more recently. And Shadow Mordor came out not too long ago, like in the past ten years, I think. Um, uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Daniel. I feel confident about it. But let's see. Nice. Woo! All right. Hell yeah. There's our CEO. All right, last one. Okay. <laughs> Is me? That's not, I mean, I would have Hades and I would have Age of Empires 2 or Last of Us on there. But, um, so if you, this is me, be mad. Uh, guys. <laughs> uh, you know what, as of, the t as of when this airs, this could be Tears of the Kingdom, yeah, all Tears three. Kingdom. All three Tears of the Kingdom. I don't know what my record was, um, but let me know in the comments. Uh, you did great, you did great. I, I feel like I did pretty well. This was harder than I thought it would be. Uh, so difficult. This is a fun game to play with your friends. Uh, let me know what other types of ways I should try to guess uh, my friends. Uh, what other types of categories. I saw someone say, based on the Battle Stations video, that I should see the insides of people's fridges and try to guess based on a photo of the inside of their fridge. I love that idea, that's very funny. Uh, but leave other suggestions and we'll take a look at them. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you later. Bye.